everyone, my name is Devil1 and welcome to another video. Playing adventure games with friends is something cool. Even in games or out of games in real world. But some games just pull you inside with your friends to a great adventures. Hyper amazing games in our list today to play with your friends in 2024. But just before we dive into the video, I really appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel and like the video or don't just ignore me oh yeah go on move let's save to the video number 10 in our list sea of thieves although you can play sea of thieves solo this is very much a game that encourages you to tell stories and more importantly create those tales with other people galleons can be sailed by crews of up to four with adventures spinning out from the various voids you undertake and that might be finding buried treasure collecting goods to trade with the merchants or hunting down on the pirate captains or you know fighting a kraken or taking on a huge skeleton for whatever you do in sea of thieves you'll need a crew then just let the hilarity commence number nine lethal company if you're looking for survival horror with the generous helping of hilarity then lethal company is a new addition to this best top game list you might have seen all over tiktok of late in it you have to salvage items on abandoned moon and sell enough to hit a certain quota over three days if you don't, bad things happen. Worse than the beating you'll get from the native creatures that roam around the moons themselves. Number 8. Portal 2 If it were playable on the current gen consoles, Portal 2 would likely top this list. Right now, you can only play Portal 2 on PC, but don't hold that against it if you have a desktop or laptop that can run it, and most can, and a friend that can do the same. Then you are in for one of the best co-op experience of your life. The co-op campaign is a noticeable jump in difficulty from already fiendish original. Not only will you and your friend, who each control a lovable robot, have to put your heads together to figure out how to finish the test chamber, but you'll often have to time your movements and actions just right. If one player jumps a split second early or activates a button too late, the whole plan falls apart. It makes communication vitral and each puzzle all the more rewarding to solve. One top of those puzzles is a layer of Valve's unmistakable humor. And GLaDOS, you remember her? Is once again the star. You can high five your friend, play rock, paper, scissors, or if you are feeling evil, dunk them into the goo by pulling a bridge up from under their feet. Number 7. Borderland 3 At any one time, one friend could be ordering a giant battleland into the fray while another hops into a titan file-ish mesh suit, a third activates a drone and a holographic double and the fourth performs a sidekick power bombs in the middle of it all. The way these characters' skills be further differentiated means you never really know which version of each character you'll be rubbing shoulders with, turning cooperative sessions into a showcase for builds. Of course, the main takeaway is always, I want my own battle end. Importantly, it's a friendlier co-op game than Borderlands 2-2. You know, two, two. With instance loot drops, players don't have to fight over the same spoils of war, and the difficulty scales to each combatant, so a casual doubler can comfortably leap into an old pro's game. Number 6. A Way Out It's rare that the game is only playable in co-op, but that's exactly what A Way Out does. Whether you are splashing the water to usher fish to each other, going back to back, to shimmy up a wall gap, passing a chisel between cells to find an exit route, or even just playing Connect 4 or a game of basketball. The co-op never feels like an added extra. It's all built for you to enjoy together in a way that's satisfying and worthwhile regardless of the scale of an interaction. You are two criminals trying to find a way out of prison and a step closer to redemption. But more importantly, this is one story that you must experience together and it's the best co-op game we've ever played. Number 5. Boulder Gaze 3 Boulder Gaze 3 is based on a Dungeons & Dragons world and role set, and that's a party-based tabletop role-playing game, so why wouldn't you want to make it a party in its digi form? 
BG3 is a tale of a ragtag bag of heroes saving a lush fantasy world, getting into scrapes, meeting weird NPCs and engaging in huge turn-based battles against monsters and wolves. Much of this, like Larian's Divinity's game, is based on using a different skill sets and abilities of your characters effectively, and that's much easier to do when the different characters are specced and controlled by other people, rather than, you know, juggling it all by yourself. Unlike other co-op games, Baldur's Gate's co-op is tied to a single save and campaign. No fair weather dropping in and out. But this makes it feel like more of a collegiate story that you're telling together like an adventure you're having as a group. Like, in fact, a game of Dungeons and Dragons, it's worth the effort and the game itself is a beautiful and complex playground for you and some friends to explore. Number 4. The Past Within there are very few asynchronous co-op games in the world, but the past within is extra brilliant because of it. You can play on whatever device works for you, and all you need is a friend that also owns a game, again, on any platform, because the co-op works on communication alone. It's a puzzle game at heart, and progression is gated by your ability to work out how what you see relates to what your pal can see. One of you will play in the past, the other in the future, and then you'll have to figure out how the two are connected. Might be a password here, or hidden instruction there, but it's wonderfully done, often creepy and never not surprising. It's a true first club game from a Rusty Lake team, and it's a smasher. Number 3. It Takes Two. Hazelock have a knack for designing clever co-op only puzzle games. And It Takes Two is definitely their best game. You and a mate playing as a bickering couple, May and Cody, who get turned into the tiny doll version of themselves after upsetting their daughter. Despite their relationship being the verge of the being divorced bus stop, they must work together to get back to their normal selves and maybe learn a few life lessons along the way. It's not the happiest of stories, you know, all told and features some truly horrifying moments involving stuffed toys and broken back but its puzzles are absolutely top notch player must really work together to conquer it takes tools imaginative obstacles courses and its range of ideas is a clear step up from Hazlite's first co-op only game a way out even better only one person need to actually buy the game as every copy comes with a free friends pass to your players too number two Valhalla Valheim. Valheim's Steam page describes it as a brutal, but I actually think this is one of the most relaxing co-op games on this list. There's something for everyone here. If you'd like to focus on laid back Viking settlement building and boar hunting in a peaceful environment, you can hang out in a sandbox's first area and do exactly that. If you and your friends are looking for some proper Viking action, you can head off into the wall and get your butt beaten by skeletons, grey dwarfs, trolls and its beastly Norse themed bosses. Valheim is still in early access but there is already loads stuffed into its open world for you to dive into. A beginner's trip, watch out for falling trees, seriously, they can straight up kill you in one splash. Before we dive to the last one, if you like the video and you want to watch more, you can click on the subscribe button or don't. Everyone here, thank you for watching this one at least. <laughs> Let's go to the last one. Helldivers 2. In like a bullet to the top of this list, is this extraordinarily popular Helldivers 2? Robots to the left of you, box to the right. Here I am stuck in the middle with you, a squad of my pals, merely emulating all the enemies before us and quite often each other. <laughs> Helldivers 2 combines a lot of things. Great shooting against horde style enemies. Helldivers are teams of hard hitting expandable soldiers sent to clear enemies on planet surrounding air, which is at the center of the global war with giant bugs on one side and advanced robots on the other. So you head down in timed missions do beat them back a bit. The always unfriendly fire is a daring choice, but one players have embraced 
along with furious debates over whether determinates or automatons are the worst enemy to come up against. Buried among these through are hints that actually both murderous robots and murderous insects are both the fault of the super earth. Through many players enjoy the roleplay aspects of the screaming for democracy as they call down an airstruck on a giant monster spitting acid at your mate. How liver to simulatively layered and simple and it's something you're sure to love.